Was Britney Spears working with Elton John last night? Or was she curled up with a microphone, spilling all the tea? Britney Spears was the biggest story of the night during the MTV Video Music Awards, and she pulled it off without even making an appearance on the show. The relationship between Britney Spears and the VMAs goes way back to the earliest days of her career. The pop star has used the show to create viral moments since before they were even called viral moments. This year, it looks like she did it again, with a twist this time. During the show's broadcast, Britney dropped a bombshell 22-minute audio clip detailing some of the traumatic things she went through during her 13-year-long conservatorship, addressing her side of the Free Britney movement in detail for the first time. I do think I'm in a place now where I'm a little bit more confident that I can be willing to share openly. Spears admitted that she's been offered a handsome amount of money to do a tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey about her time under conservatorship, but chose instead to speak directly to her fans, saying it would feel silly to get paid to tell her story. The reaction to the audio, which has since been made private on the singer's YouTube channel, was swift, with many noting that Spears had single-handedly upstaged the VMAs. One person commented with, "'Britney really is a genius. Not only is she outing her story all over social media as the 2022 MTV VMAs commence, but she's proving that her family and Kevin are the ones who will do anything for money, while she simply won't. She'd rather use her story to empower others instead.'" Another more succinctly wrote, the VMAs, Britney posted a 22-minute video. In the clip, Britney spoke bluntly about her experiences under the conservatorship, describing it as pure abuse. How did they get away with it and what the f did I do to deserve that? Spears denied that drugs or alcohol played a role in starting the conservatorship and detailed how her father, Jamie Spears, loved to control everything she did. Spears also shared her anger at her mother, Lynn Spears, who she said went along with the conservatorship even as the Free Britney movement gained momentum and rallied around her. And again, I, I haven't wanted to share this because it's unbelievably offensive, sad, abusive. And honestly, would anybody believe me? Britney Spears did have a small presence at the VMAs, in name only, being shouted out by Video Vanguard Award winner Nicki Minaj, who praised her as one of the people in the music industry who gave her opportunities she would never forget. Nicki Minaj and Britney Spears go back a long way and have been fierce supporters of each other over the years. In 2011, the two stars joined forces for their Femme Fatale tour. As recently as this month, Minaj spoke up for Britney when her ex-husband Kevin Federline tried to start drama, calling him a clown and a coward who should leave Britney alone. Prior to the VMAs, TMZ exclusively reported that Britney Spears wouldn't be able to attend the VMAs in person because she was busy filming a new music video with Elton John for their chart-topping new collaborative single, Hold Me Closer. The track is the first song that the star has dropped since the end of her conservatorship in November 2021, so clearly the topic of her ordeal has been on her mind. Elton John spoke to The Guardian about the new track, giving some insight into Britney's feelings around the time of the song's release. He said, "...she's been away so long. There's a lot of fear there because she's been betrayed so many times, and she hasn't really been in the public eye officially for so long." John said he was excited to work with the singer because he wanted to help boost her self-esteem and make her, quote, "...realize that people actually love her and care for her and want her to be happy."